poorest cities in the UK, Kingston upon Hull. We have produced a video about the poorest cities in the UK. You've likely seen also what we or others have done about rankings of British cities as regards affordability, livability, beauty, crime, depravity and cost of living. One thing is common in all these videos if you have seen them. Kingston upon Hull has been ranked not among the best cities to live in, the most beautiful cities or the safest, but among the most deprived, the most dangerous and the poorest. Enough has probably not been said in those videos to convince many fans of the city. That's why we are devoting this video to only Kingston upon Hull as one of the poorest cities in the United Kingdom. About Kingston upon Hull Please permit us to come down to the level of those who may not have seen the video we did about the city and those who need to know one or two things about the city we're about to analyse. Thus, we're starting by introducing the city of Kingston upon Hull to you. This is a port city with a unitary authority type of government located in the East Riding of Yorkshire. Usually abbreviated to Hull, the city lies upon the River Hull, its namesake, at its confluence with the Humber Estuary. 40 kilometres inland from the North Sea, 80 kilometres east of Leeds, 55 kilometres southeast of York and 87 kilometres northeast of Sheffield. The total land area of the city that got its city status in 1897 is 71.5 square kilometres. Going by the latest official population estimate of 259,778, which ranked it 64th in the country, the city's population density is fair at 3,633 people per square kilometre. In the whole borough of Yorkshire, not just the ceremonial county of East Riding and the Humber region, it's the fourth largest city, even though very poor. People from Kingston upon Hull are called Hallensians. Summary of several rankings An article recently published in The Guardian International entitled To Hull and Back, The Rebirth of Britain's Poorest City quotes Naomi Clayton of the Centre for Cities as agreeing that Hull fits in the national picture of the second poorest city in less than a decade ago. She reeled out a set of damning statistics, including the city having the lowest rate of employment and the highest ratio of job seekers allowance claimants. She also said Hull is the UK's poorest city in terms of the weekly wage and that it has a major skills shortage and low rates of business startups. According to this official, it has a high crime rate and very low percentage of residents with, at least, NVQ4 qualifications. Data from the Office for National Statistics, the ONS, also indicates that this city has one of the lowest house prices for all types of property among towns and cities in England and Wales. The ONS also ranks Hull very low in areas of the number of businesses, industries and trades. That's why its data, covering employment rates, earnings and hours of work, the body says Hull is a poor city. Other figures given by a highly creditable Legatum Institute, a charity based in London that releases the annual Global Prosperity Index, are also damning for Kingston-upon-Hull. According to the Institute, the city performed poorly below standard and expectation on prosperity in six of the seven pillars of the index. It adds that the data marks a deep-woven pattern of poverty and deprivation and it goes beyond economic circumstances. The Institute further states that the city was found to be the worst for essential services overall and it ranks second worst for schools and education centres and third worst for the firefighting staff strength. Index of Multiple Deprivation the Index of Multiple Deprivation, the IMD, provides conclusive and irrefutable evidence that Hull is one of the poorest cities in England. IMD provides data from the official measure of relative deprivation in the country. It ranks every small area or neighbourhood in England as Lower Super Output Area, LSOA, and scores them from 1 to 32,844, the total number of small areas in all the cities. A score of 1 indicates the most deprived, while the highest figure indicates the least deprived. It also uses the findings to rank larger areas by looking at the proportion of LSOAs within the area lying within each decile. Now, how has Hull been faring in the periodic rankings on IMD? The index combines data from seven domains to arrive at the overall relative measure of deprivation in an area and hence a city. If we need to remind you, the domains include employment, income, education, skills and crime, each given a weighting based on a number of indicators, and we shall base it on the latest data of the IMD. 
Employment The proportion of the working age people in the population of Hull who are forcefully excluded from the labour market is high. Among these are people who want to work but are unable to find a job, those who are sick or disabled and those having caring responsibilities. As much as 71 out of 166 areas of Hull are the most deprived, making up 43% of the residents. Income About 70 areas in 166 areas of Hull are measured to be in living income deprivation. This is the number of residents earning a low income. This measurement factors in those people who are out of work and those working but are earning too low to satisfy their basic needs. This is the lot of about 42% of the population of Kingston-upon-Hull. Education, Training and Skill In this domain, 69 areas in this city are measured to be lacking in attainment and skills. That means about 41.6% of the local population are most deprived in these domains. The IMD indicators even categorise the most deprived into two. The first comprises children and young people, while the one relating to adult skills is in the second category. These are meant to indicate the flow and stock of educational disadvantaged areas within a city. Health Let us look at the finding in the health deprivation and disability domain. Of course, this is the measurement of premature death and the impairment of life quality through poor mental and physical health. People in 39.2% of the lower super output areas of this city are in this category. This means the residents of 65 areas of the city are deprived as a result of morbidity, disability and premature mortality. To be fair and honest, this does not consider behavioural or environmental aspects that may be predictive of the city's future health deprivation. Living Environment Deprivation Domain this is the measurement of the quality of the local environment and general standard of living in the area. To fine-tune the findings and avoid any bias against the city, the indicators examine two sub-domains, one being the indoor living environment, which measures the quality of housing, and the other being the outdoor living environment, which measures air quality and road crashes. All that put together, people in 48 areas of Hull representing 28.9% of the residents are living in environmental deprivation. Crime. At this point, it should be clear that Kingston-upon-Hull is one of the poorest cities in the UK, and as you know, deprivation most times begets crime. Now, let us talk about the effect of what we have earlier mentioned on crime in Hull. The IMD crime domain measures its effects on individuals and communities and the risk of personal and material victimisation. People in 56 areas of this city, representing 33.7% of the residents, are living in crime deprivation. Poor children The case of children living in low-income families is more pathetic. Some 13,644 children under 16 are living in families with absolute low income, representing 26.4%, while 15,880 children of the same age are living in families with relative low income, representing 30.7%. For clarity's sake, these figures are the number of children in families with incomes less than 60% of median income before housing costs BHC, in both absolute low income and relative low income. And this is derived from analyses of incomes of families in a given fiscal year, defined as gross personal income or GPI from benefits, tax credits, employment and self-employment and occupational pensions. We know for sure that the authorities of the ceremonial county and the entire borough are not comfortable with this figure and would do all they can to move their city out of the list of the most deprived cities in England. However, since it's still the most deprived place in England, according to the latest IMD statistics revelation, we would consider it one of the poorest in England. Would you readily agree with this, our proposition? We know you would. However, we'd love to have your objective comment on this in the comment section. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. This is Learning Canteen.